What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Element and this video is a gameplay of Domination on the Map Carrier. And if you notice I'm using some pink camo on my M8A1, this is a uh, kind of a time period for me during this game where I'm going for diamond assault rifles. So until I get diamond for my gun, I usually just put this on and see what people think of it. And it's uncommonly used so that's another reason why I like it. it it don't look that bad it don't look that girly it's kind of manly it's got that it's kind of got some man swag to it I guess but <clears throat> excuse my bad aim right here holy damn um, but let me go over a few things before I get into uh, some of the things I want to talk about this game um, first I'll give you a class setup since I actually get a swarm in this game this is uh, one of the first games where I decided to go for the swarm. I, I usually don't set my kill streaks too too high. I think the highest set really I've set for set for and tried to get legitimately have been load stars and warthogs, but it had been a while since, you know, hitting Prestige Master. And I was like, you know, it's just time to go for the swarm and see if I can get it. And I got it uh, a couple times the first couple hours I was trying to go for it. Um, the setup is pretty simple. If you run an orbital VSAT you run EMP, you can get your swarm, and look what we have here! Boosters! Uh, I, 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 I don't understand the point of boosting. And this guy was stupid. He's boosting for a sniper rifle and getting headshots, and I don't know what the point of that is, because you don't need headshots to rank up a sniper rifle. If anybody that's played this game, you know that well enough by now. But, you know, I just, I yelled at him the rest of this time, so I was kind of distracted. Luckily, he didn't mess up my score streak by totally distracting me and uh, next few games he actually stayed in the lobby and tried boosting in other corners but I put a stop to that so so anyway uh, the class setup I'm using for this video this gameplay uh, you saw the M881 um, usually when I go for headshots I like to use the millimeter scanner I think the millimeter scanner is a great great optic um, you know just ignore the put put the uh, put the whole view through walls thing aside because it doesn't really help too much in that aspect you know its primary purpose the the site itself is just really nice it's not obtrusive it's clean and for whatever reason when I put it on an assault rifle I tend to get a lot more headshots than I do without so that's why I use it uh, also I'm using select fire on the M881 which I've got to say after having played most of the time with select fire on my burst and semi-auto weapons that I don't like it anymore. I think select fire has made a slave of us all. Even on the uh, Chicom or however you pronounce that stupid SMG, I tend to use select fire on it before, but I think now that I've gone through all the weapons and I've got diamond SMGs, I'm two guns away from getting diamond assault rifles, that using select fire more hurts you than actually helps you. I can fire the FAL and the SMR way faster than I can with select fire, so select fire to me is kind of a waste of attachment. So I don't use it anymore. But uh, on this video I was using it, but you will see uh, later on when I, I, I ran out of ammo for my M8A1, so I had to <laughs> pick up another gun and I got my swarm. All is good with the world, but I don't call it in because I look at the time and I only got a minute and a half left in this round. So I figured I'll call it in the second round, get the most that I can out of it. And uh, it does work. Oh my god, this was like the second or third game I got the Swarm, the, the night that I tried to go for them, and I got a ton of kills each time with them. I guess it really depends on the map. This is a pretty good map for aerial score streaks. Uh, Warthogs and Lodestars usually do work. And the Swarm did work on this map as well. Very open, not a lot of places to hide. So you'll definitely want to take that into consideration when you're setting your score streaks what map you're going to be playing on because you don't want them all running in buildings and hiding like a bunch of bitches so anyway <laughs> getting back to the setup which is taking me way too long to go over um the m8a1 i find it better shooting it in bursts i really do even after the so-called patch where they nerfed its uh damage at close range or i don't i don't really even know you you gotta you gotta sometimes ignore what they say they do in those patches, because if you remember back to Black Ops 1, when they said that they, quote unquote, and I'm doing the air quotes with my hands, when they, quote unquote, nerfed the FAMAS and the 74U, I don't think they actually did that. Maybe they did a hair. Maybe they, like, the tiniest increment of measurement you could possibly imagine. 
maybe, but I don't buy it. Because that weapon was still way overused, and I felt that it was still very, very good. The FAMAS and the 74U. Um, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I don't really think that this gun feels too nerfed. It feels pretty good to me. I mean, it's a connection-based gun because it's a burst fire. Anybody that's played Call of Duty long enough knows that there are some guns that are just going to be connection-based. Like, I remember in Modern Warfare 2, the FAMAS, that was a total connection-based gun. It, it really depended on how you were connected to the host. So we got a clusterfuck here at B, but that's alright, I got EMP, EMP grenades. Fuck your sentry gun. <laughs> um, I will say the millimeter scanner is really good for getting through uh, people that like to pour out smoke grenades, so... If you got another team that's using smoke grenades trying to capture flag points, definitely, definitely use a millimeter scanner. You'll be able to see them and kill them before they can cap it. But, uh, anyway... The, uh, the class setup is, you know, pretty standard. Ghost, Toughness, Engineer. I'm running Semtex in this game because I'm trying to get the Semtex calling card. Now that I've hit Prestige Master, that's pretty much all I'm trying to do is unlock calling cards. See how many challenges I can complete. Max out all my guns. And, uh, that's, that's basically what, what I do after I am done ranking up and hit the last Prestige. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I just wanted to give a quick shout out. This goes out to my buddy Electric Burn, who says I don't get swarmed, so... <laughs> here's the video evidence that I promised you. And, uh, I believe in this game I also got this gun gold. Uh, earlier in the game I think it popped up that I got my, uh... My last, uh, Bloodthirsty with it. I was missing one Bloodthirsty medal. And, uh, I got it in this game, so... So that was good. I accomplished a lot. I got a swarm, got a gold gun in this gameplay. We won the game. Uh, we're losing right now, but trust me, we'll win. <laughs> this was during a clan challenge where we had to get as many flag caps as we could uh, in in a day. I, I don't know really what the time frame is, but you know we killed it. So just to go, just goes to show you another reason to join HA is that uh, we rank up and uh, we take all our clan challenges and clan ops um, about as serious as they need to be, you know. Don't overthink it, just go out and do it, and get it done. And I believe right now I just looked at the uh, Clan HQ on Elite, and uh, we're 22nd uh, amongst mid-level clans, that's clans with 11 to 50 members, and we're ranked 22nd in terms of level, so I think that's pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, we're not very high on some of the other point totals, but as far as leveling up, and being at the level that we're at, we're ranked 22nd amongst those 11 to 50 member clans. So I think that shows that we uh, we play a lot, and um, we're active participants in elite challenges and clan ops as well. And it goes to show you that we'll always have some members on playing Call of Duty. So if you're tired of playing by yourself and getting pub stomped by full parties and having to quit out of matches, then you know. I recommend you hit us up on our website, hellsalliance.com, and you can join in in our winning. Uh, the last segment of this video, since I'm on a diamond quest, I have given myself that <laughs> that sort of Twitter hashtag, hashtag diamond quest. I'm on a diamond quest to get as many diamond guns as I can before I bid this game adieu, which is probably going to be all the way up until the next Call of Duty release. But I hope I get to, I hope I can get them done way sooner than that. Otherwise, what's the point, right? So yes, the, the diamond quest. As you, as I have told you, I have completed diamond SMGs. I am now working on diamond assault rifles. All I have left is the SWAT and the FAL. And I predicted that SWAT is going to take me forever because I suck with that gun. <coughs> yeah, I, if I suck with a gun, I don't use it. So that's why I don't snipe because I can't snipe. I'm a bad sniper. And I don't use a SWAT because I don't understand it. It's weird. It's a weird gun. Other people say it's great. I, I just, I don't know. So I'm on a diamond quest. And a few quick tips for people that are still watching. If you want a diamond assault rifle, it's not too hard. I like the millimeter scanner. It gets me headshots more than it doesn't. So I don't know. I just use it. It's also got a little bit of a zoom to help you get those long shots. And really for the bloodthirsties and other things like that that you got to do, you just got to take your time. And please note that if you haven't figured it out yet, a bloodthirsty metal does not have to be all five kills with one gun. You could kill four people with a pistol and then switch to your assault rifle, get that fifth kill, and guess what? It counts. 
So there is no reason to, you know, have to sort of, you know, handicap yourself. Like with a KSG, for example, to get a bloodthirsty with that, that's a pain in the ass. Especially since it's allowed in a one-hitter quitter. So I usually equip overkill, carry an SMG as a secondary, get four kills with that, and then get my fifth kill with the KSG. And uh, we win the game, 190 to 156. Just like I said we were gonna. We were down, but we came back up and we won. We are victorious. So I hope you can join me in the Diamond Quest. Thanks for watching the Swarm video, and I uh, will see you guys later. Peace.